Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Mad Dog's Munchie Menagerie. I am your host, Mad Dog. I'm here to, uh, with you on this very dreadful day, blizzard-like conditions. But it is important to me to get out the information to you on what is yummy. And today, I'm bringing to you Hardee's. Okay, today we are going to be trying the Budweiser Beer Cheese Bacon Burger. With grass-fed beef and applewood smoked bacon, only at Hardee's. It's an all grass-fed natural beef patty, which I like that. It's got a nice Budweiser beer cheese. It's got some applewood bacon on it, some caramelized onions. Get it in a single or a double. I went with the single just out of easiness. Let's take a look at what this thing looks like here. Look at that. That looks yummy. Bacon, cheese. Uh, I should have told them extra cheese. They didn't put a lot of cheese on there. Tomatoes. Yes. All right, let's, let's get into this third pound burger of wonder here. Oh my lord. That is a very yummy burger. Oh my god. Nice caramelized onions in there. The bacon is just, oh my lord, they, they were not stingy with the bacon. Kudos to them for that. Very tasty burger. Let me get in here for a second bite. Oh, that is a beautiful burger. Let me take a look at this nice big thick third pound patty the bacon the cheese the onions my only gripe is i wish they had to put a little bit more of that lovely cheese sauce on there oh my god hardy's wow that is a beautiful burger all right let's get the brass tacks here price yeah, I can see the price. I think it was like $4.99. But that's that's a good burger. Taste is Woo! The taste is just oh my god. You guys are gotta get one of these ASAP. So my my total score. Yeah. Five fat kids all day long. This is one tremendous burger. This ain't your typical McDonald's bullcrap. This is a quality burger. Get out and get you one. Yes, that. Oh. And then as a as an added review, I had to do it. Went to Dunkin'. Extra large, hot cocoa. And because Buddha, I know that it just means so much to you. Yes, I did it. I put a couple shots of peppermint mocha in here because I know that you just love that peppermint in your hot cocoa. Salute. Ah, five fat kids all day long on that. And if you want to take it up another notch, you could turn it to some Irish hot cocoa and throw a little little uh, one ounce shot of uh, some rumple mints in there and make it even better. So yeah, there it is, Hardee's and Duncan. If you would like me to review anything in the future, please hit me up at the social media that you see popping up on the screen now. I'm gonna send it back to the studio with Buddha and Legs and you too, Nico. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Peace.